Welcome. This is our first lesson of the 81-part course for the I Create course, Song of the Spheres. We're going to be getting to today's lesson in just a little bit. Uh, then after the lesson, at the very end of it, we have a short message from Lantos that's going to be of interest to everyone. Uh, but before we get started, a note about our Song of the Spheres and the Medallion. So we have our medallion here, as well as the Song of the Spheres. And as many of you have received yours, uh, we understand that there's that desire to protect the song and keep it safe. Uh, so there's a reluctance to take it to work with you or take it around with you. Uh, and also, as we've learned more from Lantos and from Tote, about the nature of spinning the way inside the medallion. This has led us to uh, develop for our March batch of the songs and the medallions. Uh, we're going to allow you to order, to pre-order a medallion, just the medallion, with your personalized seeds in it. So either your inception seed or your I am seed, the inception, appellation, and mission seeds inside the way of the medallion. This is going to be uh, for a specific reason, actually a couple of different reasons. Uh, we're going to make this one available both in silver and gold, but instead of having a golden pearl at the top, I mentioned to you a few weeks ago uh, the expense of the golden pearls is part of the reason for the expense of the song and the medallion. So Lantos had said that after the first batch came out, we could also make these available with things other than the golden pearl in that location representing the realm lord. So in this batch of personalized medallions, we will be making it instead of with a golden pearl, but with a crystal sphere. That is going to allow us to drop the price significantly for the personalized medallion. We're going to have it priced at $390 for the silver version, $490 for the gold version, but during the, during the pre-order period for this first batch of the individualized medallions, the price is going to be $260 for either version, the gold or the silver. So $260 for the individualized medallion. When you personalize it, you have the ability of having it as your inception seed. And that means that the three secondary seeds that are within your inception seed will be in the inner way. Or you can have it be your I am seeds, the inception, appellation, and mission primary sphere for each one of those in the way. You only have this option of using the I am seeds if you have attended the teacher training course at either the Seed of Eternal Light in Hawaii or in Los Angeles or in Taiwan at the Western Gate and the Eastern Gate, respectively. Because if you have done that, then you have thrown the moon wings to find your permanent mission seed. If you have done that, then you can order the personalized medallion with the I am seed. Uh, otherwise, you should stick with the inception seed. Now, this provides two distinct benefits. One is giving you the ability to have one with you that isn't as costly as the Song of the Spheres so that you aren't as worried about losing it or breaking it. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. The other benefit that we're also going to touch on a little bit more is this one makes a very good gift for someone who doesn't know about biogenesis, someone who doesn't know about creating. Because as we're going to go into a little bit of detail with the message from Tote just about five days ago, when you have the medallion with your inception seed in the way, then you are able to simply spin it three times and get the full benefit of it. And that means that you can give it to a child. You can give it to uh, your sons or daughters. You can give it to a sibling. You can give it to a parent or a friend. 
I've simply with the instruction to spin the way, the anterior part, three times. And simply by their doing that, they will receive the full benefit of it. Let's talk about this just for a minute. I'm going to refresh your memory with a partial uh, message from Lantos that we received a few months ago where he specified the difference between having the world mother seeds, which is what we have right now in all of the medallions, as well as all of the songs, versus having your inception or your I am seeds in the way. Cindy asked Lantos, what is the difference? If someone places the colors of the world mother into the song or medallion, or if they place their own inception wheels or their I am seeds into the song or the medallion. And Lanto said this, yes, very good, very good. Energy is generated in the spin. It is through the process of the spin that energy emerges. Three spins of the way. The way is the process of initial rotations the initial rotations of creation. The way is the process out of which all of creation emerges. In our beloved tool of the song, we spin the way. We spin the way three times. This process activates the energy of initial rotations within the individual and within the environment. It is a physical activation of the process of creating. On the physical plane of existence, one activates that energy which gives rise to creation. What a great achievement. Such a beloved tool. The song activates on the physical plane of existence the elemental energy which gives rise to creation. It is a magnificent tool. Activation of the energies to create. This is the master tool of Tote. Since inception, this mighty master tool has been safeguarded by the great early being, Tote. And now, now in this blessed holy season of the year of the flying seed, our beloved master teacher, Tote, shares with us this mighty master tool. We offer our deepest thanks for this most precious gift. In our hands, we hold the tool of Tote, that tool which activates the energies of creation, the energies of creating. And what are we creating? We are creating all, all. We may direct these energies through intent. In our practice of creating, we direct the energies which form creation. We move the elemental energies. We direct these elemental energies into form, specific form. This, dear ones, is creating. When we spin, thrice spin the way, this activates the elemental forces it is through our intent that these forces move into form. Through intent, we shape form. We direct the energy through intent. Now you know the story of the mighty tool which our beloved Master Teacher Tote has held, held in safe keeping throughout time. This beloved tool activates the deepest, we will say the most basic, most subtle, most sublime energies of existence. These are the early energies of creation. These are the early forces which structure creation. Spin, spin, spin. Thrice spin. Through this process, the energies of initial rotations form. Yes, these energies form within the individual who initiates the thrice spin. The inner elements, the spheres within the way, become enlivened, enlivened for the individual, enlivened for the environment. With each spin, enlivenment is directed by the intent, and at the same time, each spin offers enlivenment to the inner spheres of the way. The spheres of the world mother are universal. For all, the spheres of the world mother bring enlivenment to the individual to humanity, and to all life on earth. This is the blessing of the World Mother. All may receive the song of the World Mother. 
One may also select the spheres of one's inception seed. The seed of inception contains the energies to direct the course of this life. The source, the course of life, the fulfillment of life, all is contained within the seed of inception. We call this seed the seed of destiny. Individual destiny is located within the seed of inception. To thrice spin the way of the inception seed brings sublime energy and radiance to the individual path of life. Yes, very good. One may also install the spheres of the personal I am seeds within the way. This primary sphere for each seed is positioned in the order of inception, appellation, and mission. This enlivens the I am layers of personal existence within each spin. Each spin offers finer and finer levels of experience. Each spin brings fuller and fuller elemental balance to the cellular sequence code of the physical plane, and each spin generates greater and greater radiant light of the sublime source within the heart and within the supreme life presence. Lantos went on in that message for quite a bit longer, and it was a beautiful message. But the important part for us today, the relevant part for us today, is this description of what happens when you spin the way, when you spin that inner part of the medallion or the song, that it ignites the forces, the elemental forces of creating, and that the seed within the way is going to be enlivened for the individual. Now, in that message, Lantos made clear that when you have the seed number eight, the world mother seed within the way, that provides universal benefit. A few months ago, I explained to you that the reason that we selected that seed, seed eight, for all of the songs and all of the medallions in the first batch, Lantos wanted that, but we also did it because that would provide the greatest benefit for the world, for everyone on the planet, as well as for you. You would still receive a benefit from enlivening the world mother seed. And using the song, you can enliven your own seeds, your own I am seeds anyway. Using the medallion, you can enliven your own I am seeds also, just that you have to add in the wheels holding each wheel individually in your left hand as you enliven it. So holding the wheel for your inception seed in your left hand along with the medallion and then spinning it as you do that, that would be how you would enliven your inception seed using the medallion. Then you simply switch the wheel in your left hand for your appellation seed and then switch it again for the mission seed. But that with every spin of either the song or the medallion, you are enlivening seed eight, the world mother seed. And that is of great benefit. That's the reason that we had the first batch be that way. But we understand from people that uh, there's a desire for one that is significantly less expensive that can be given as a gift for someone who doesn't really know how to use it, who doesn't really know how to do creating, and who may not be that interested in learning how to do it, but who you still want to provide this benefit within their life. So that is why we're focusing on this batch with the personalized medallions. Now, recently, just within the last month, Lanto spoke about having your great center of creating within your home. So there, with your chamber of eternal light, with the flying seed, with the great seal, with your song, of the spheres. That is your great center of creating. Every morning, every evening, enlivening your I am seeds, your reflective seeds in the evening, doing your creating practice within that area. That is of great benefit. But then he also said, when we go out of this great center for creating, we carry with us the supreme tool. We carry the supreme tool and we may perform creating in any setting located anywhere. Every location becomes a blessed location, supportive of the supreme process of the dynamics of creation. This is the eon of eternal light 
and with this the doors have opened for the arrival of the supreme tool. The eon of eternal light heralds the awakening of the enlivened dynamics of creation available in all locations through the supreme song and the supreme medallion. In these tools, we ignite the energies required for the process of creating. This is the way. The way opens the initiate to the process of creating in all locations at all times. With this, the individual ex accelerates rapidly through the stages of growth and expansion, and the physical structure transforms to support the radiance, the supreme radiance, as the reflection of the source. So given that, it is understandable that you would want to be able to take this with you throughout the day, wherever you go. And the song is certainly one that provides a great benefit if you take it with you. But as I've mentioned before, it is delicate. And so then the concern is what happens if you lose or break your song. So then you can take your medallion, of course, and every time you spin it, that provides you the benefit of the world mother. But then, if you're going to enliven your inception seed, you have to bring a wheel with you. So, this provides a benefit of having a significantly less expensive medallion that does not involve the golden pearl, but still provides benefits for you, and those benefits are targeted specifically for you through the presence of your inception seed or your I am seeds within the way. Then the second aspect that I wanted to focus on is using it as a gift, a gift to someone who does not know about biogenesis, who does not know about creating, a gift to someone who is important to you, a dear friend, a family member. When we just read what Lanto said about the effects of enlivening these aspects within the individual, rapidly accelerating this process within the individual body. Because of that, Cindy asked Lantos a question just a few days ago. This is since the last time I spoke with you. I wrote a question for Cindy to ask Lantos. She sat down to ask Lantos the question. Uh, she did what she always does. She calmed herself. She focused on the desire to speak with Lantos. And instead, Master Teacher Tote showed up. So Cindy assumed that he wanted to answer the question, and she asked him the question. The question was, if someone were to have a medallion or a song that had that individual's inception seed formed within the way, would that person actually have to have any training in biogenesis or in creating to receive the benefits? Or could that person simply be instructed to close their eyes, focus on their heart, and then spin the way three times? And just by following that instruction, that person would then receive the full benefits of enlivening their inception seed with the medallion or the song. Tote said, yes, the process of initiating the spin enlivens the form of creation. When one initiates spin by nature, one releases spin. The seed directs the flow of energy. The seed guides the initiate along the way. Holy vision may be attained in this way. Cindy then asked, so even without knowing and understanding all of the details of the seeds and the technique of creating, just spinning the way with one's inception seed, like with the medallion, it will also be effective? And Tote said, spinning the way is the turning of initial rotations. Three spins, three turns. In this turning, the source takes form. This is creating. One who spins the way creates. One who creates attains holy vision. 
So with this, with this answer from Tote from a few days ago, we see the possibility for you to be able to provide to someone, a loved one, a medallion that has that person's inception seed formed within the center part, what Lantos calls the way, formed within the way. That person does not need to know about biogenesis. That person does not need to know about creating. In theory, that person doesn't even need to know the seed phrase for their inception seed or what they're even doing. The extent of instruction that they need to receive is to simply hold it with their left hand, focus on their heart, close their eyes, spin it, let it come to a stop, spin it again, let it come to a stop, spin it a third time, let it come to a stop, and tell them to do that each morning, each evening. If they like the effects, take it with them through the day and do it whenever they have time during the day. They can use the inception seed phrase if they want. Let's say their inception seed is 81, and so flying seed, therefore intent, is the seed phrase. They can use that, but they don't actually have to. Because when we focus again on the question that Cindy asked to tote, the question specifically said, could that person simply be instructed to close their eyes, focus on their heart, and then spin the way three times. And just by following that instruction, the person would then receive the full benefits of enlivening their inception seed. And Lanta and Tote said yes. So this is why that answer itself is why we are accelerating the process of offering an individualized medallion for your use. So anyone who does want one, here is the process. Give us a call. Call the office. Let them know what you want for your medallion. Uh, do you want it to be silver or gold? Do you want your inception seed formed within the way? Tell us what you think the inception seed number is, and we're still going to verify it with you. We're going to ask for your time and date of birth and location of birth so that we can verify with you that, yes, that is indeed your inception seed. And then... Uh, if you want your IM seeds, then just let us know what your three IM seeds are, your inception, your Appalachian, and mission seed numbers, and we will place that order. We have to be able to place this order uh, within the next week in order to have them produced during the March batch. So for this offer, the $260 offer, it is just going to be good for this coming week. Then I've... As we continue to get more knowledge, we will open it up and offer individualized forms of the song later on. But right now, it is the individualized form of the medallion that we are offering. And we're doing it specifically to make it as affordable as, as possible, not only for you to have one that you can take to work and not feel so bad if you lose it or break it, but also so that you can give it as a gift to someone who you deeply want to receive the benefits of this, uh, but without having to have them learn anything. Okay, that is the initial announcement. Now we're going to go ahead and start our lesson one of the course. Now, you are familiar with the lectures where I read messages from Lantos to you or from Tote. In this case, for this lecture series, all 81 lessons, I am going to be reading messages from Cindy. So these will be drafted by Cindy with extensive consultation with both Master Lantos and Master Teacher Tote. But Master Lantos wanted for clarity to have it be 
used uh, to be phrased in Cindy's words. So I will still be reading to you the instructions for the course, but that's because every word that Cindy has written has been cleared with Lantos and Tote, and I don't want to change any of those words. So I'm still going to be reading, but this instruction comes through Cindy. We're going to be covering a broad range of aspects, but today we're going to be beginning the course. So let's go ahead and start. In this series, we will be exploring and experiencing the most basic process of life, the process of creating. This process has been experienced by every human being. It is universal to all. It is that element which is common to all life. Every thought is a creation. Every emotion is created. Actions, they are creations as well. We are all experienced when it comes to creating. It is no wonder that tracing these creations back to their source has captured the interest of the world's greatest minds for millennia. In every culture, in the traditions of knowledge from around the world, the sages, the philosophers, the scientists, all have shared a fascination in taking part in this grand investigation. For some, it is a passion. For others, it is a devotion. No matter what the belief structure or what motivates the individual along this continuing quest, the search for the understanding of creating continues. Each lesson in our program will be brief, usually five to ten minutes. Lessons are described as verses of the Song of the Spheres. Now we know that verses are not lengthy teachings. Verses are short expressions, small threads of knowledge. So with these 81 small threads of knowledge, we will weave together the course of creation. The first steps of a journey are of great significance. These first steps establish the direction. The first steps set the course. For our first steps, we will begin with a vision of fullness. As you can see, there is a video plane that shows you a specific form. This form is one that Tote and Lantos have shown to Cindy. It is a visual representation of the process of initial rotations. This is the form that we are going to be focusing on for today. Fullness. We open the course with fullness. We introduce the course of creation with this vision of fullness. This is the golden form of initial rotations. This is the form of creation. This form describes the process of creating. If terms such as initial rotations of creation are unfamiliar, there is no need for concern. Soon we will all become familiar with these unusual or complex sounding words. After all, creation has existed for quite some time now, and it may require a few lessons for us to gain the vocabulary necessary for understanding this process. Creation forms out of a singular source, creation forms. There is a process of creating, a process which is at the basis of all expressions, whether it's a galaxy or a flower, whether it's the rain or the wind, whether it's joy or even a single thought. No matter what type of expression is created, the process is the same. This process is called creating. Let's look at this visual form again. This video of the golden form begins with a singular source. At first it appears that there is not much happening. Then there is a flash of light. Now we see forms beginning to sprout. These forms emerge in sets of three, three petals. After the first set of three has formed, another set emerges and another. In all, a feather shape is made from three sets of three. Then it repeats. We observe this process over and over, eight times. 
feathers are formed, and with this the form is complete. While we have watched these images, there is still more to this than meets the eye. In the beginning, we observe a single sphere. Then, after a burst of light, forms begin to develop. What has happened here? What have we just seen? The answer may amaze you. What we have seen here is the form of creation, containing 81 seeds of creation. And yet, here is also the form containing 108 seeds of the source. It is this relationship which is the topic for this first lesson of fullness. 108 is a number many of us have heard. It's a number with historical significance, a number which is found in ancient texts and has carried high spiritual significance through the present day, particularly in the Buddhist, Hindu, and Jain traditions. This is the topic for our lesson of fullness, the relationship between 81 and 108. In our first lesson, we are aiming to achieve at least a general understanding of a belief which has captured the attention of millions of people for thousands of years. It is quite a lofty goal for the first lesson. For this vision of fullness, we are allowing more time for this lesson. Future lessons will be brief. In this first lesson, we are presented with the teaching of fullness and the form of the process of creating. Now we will return to the golden form. In this form, we are looking for 81 seeds. However, we are also looking for a relationship with 108 seeds. First of all, what are the seeds? What are seeds? In our next few lessons, we will understand the answer to this question much more thoroughly. For now, we will consider seeds as markers. They are sites of interest. They are the essence of creation. There are 81 seeds of creation. Let's take a look at this form step by step. With this golden form, we are looking to find 81 markers, 81 seeds. Let's count what we can see, what we can find in this form. Here we have one central golden sphere. Now we see there are feathers, each with nine elements. You'll see those have three and now we have nine. Three sets of three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are eight of these feathers, and therefore there are 72 elements. We will now call them seeds. If we count the one in the middle, we have observed a total of 73 seeds. But this number is neither 81 nor is it 108. So we need to look further. This is where knowledge enters. This is where our eyes mislead us into thinking that we see only 73 seeds. When the central sphere begins to generate new forms, we notice, notice a flash of light. There is a flash of light which precedes the growth of each feather. The flash of light is a signal. It is a signal that there is a reflection. Like the reflection of the sun, when the sun shines, it shines with a constant light, but when it meets with a mirror, there is a flash. This flash occurs with the introduction of a reflection. Reflection means that an object looks at itself. An object sees itself. How do we get from the number one to the number two? Through reflection. The central sphere looks at itself, as that is all there is to look at, so it sees itself. In this process, there is no visible movement, no outward growth or development, and yet something has happened. The process of reflection generates a flash. The flash is, at, is the signal that reflection has occurred. We have gone from a single sphere to two spheres, the original and the reflection. 
Now we have two. And out of the new sphere, out of the reflection, the form begins to grow. This process of reflection occurs before each feather begins to sprout. In each of the eight directions, the new central sphere reflects upon itself. The original, I'm sorry, the original central sphere reflects upon itself, forming a new sphere. And out of these eight new spheres, the eight feathers emerge. So we can see the completed image of the form. We can see this more clearly if we visually separate the spheres. Right now, we see only one sphere in the center. However, this knowledge tells us there are nine spheres in this location. Let's take a look at this video one more time. We see the central golden sphere, and then there's a spark, a reflection. Out of that, we see the first set of leaves of seeds emerging. Then we see a reflection again and more emerge. More feathers emerge. We see a more another reflection and more feathers emerge and then another reflection and yet more feathers emerge. For each feather there is a reflection. So that means that we have in fact 81 seeds. We have the one central sphere and eight other surrounding spheres and eight feathers made up of nine seeds, 81 seeds. Bravo. We have achieved the first step in a three-step process of understanding the overall nature of the process of creating. And with this accomplishment, we will end part one of lesson one. The relationship of 81 and the 108. The story of creation is the story of the apparent separation of fullness, the expressions of fullness. Therefore, our first lesson in the course of creation deals with the separation of fullness. We separate fullness into part one, part two, and part three. Our next lesson will be lesson one, part two, the relationship between 81 and 108. Now we're going to add one final message from Lantos that is from yesterday. Cindy was asking Lantos about the 108. Lantos then brought up something else. Cindy's birthday is coming up. And while I would normally never share her age, uh, it is relevant in this message. Cindy will be turning 54 years old in the coming weeks. And Lantos said, Dear one, you are in the half age of 108. This timing is concurrent with the arrival of eternal light. As this eon opens, the vision opens, the perception is illumined. In this year, your vision has awakened to the highest form of creation, the golden form of initial rotations. The birthday approaches. This marks the year of half, 108. The birthday is a time of acceleration. It carries with it an increase of vibration for the physical structure. It is a time of opening. The doors of the higher realms open to receive blessings of the source. The physical structure connects with all layers of life, and the blessings enhance the physical structure of the individual. Each birthday represents an opening of clarity an opening for the process of initial rotations. Each birthday is an opening for the experience of creating. Each year brings with it new purpose. We may say that this is likened to a mission. The age of the individual is one consideration. This age may be enlivened as a seed, a mission seed for the year. If one has not received the mission from the gate, one may apply the age seed 
as a mission seed for the year. The age seed may be performed in creating as a mission, supporting the individual during the phase of influence. The age seed marks an opening through which the energies of mission flow in to the individual. Another seed which may be performed as an alternate mission is the daily seed of the birth day each year. The annual birth seed is determined by the current location and the original time of birth. The annual seed enlivens the current energies of mission for the acceleration of the individual. Each of these seeds brings light during its phase of influence. One may spin the seed of mission. The seed of mission may be positioned within a medallion. This seed may be enlivened. Openings are a time of grace. This day of grace is an opening in time for all to receive the blessings of acceleration, the blessings of eternal light. Very good. Cindy asked him, when you say the medallion, do we also include the song? Lancho said, the function of the song is for the life. It is a supreme blessing to creation, a great blessing to the individual form of existence. For this supreme tool, we will position within the way the seed of the world mother, or we may position the personal inception or the I am seeds for the life. These are the energies which shine brightest in the life stream. These energies may be positioned within the song or within the medallion. These supreme tools shower the individual with the greatest blessings, illuminating the way. The medallion may be adorned with the seed of the mother, the seed of the inception, with the I am seeds, or with any seed of individual acceleration, such as the mission seeds. These are seeds of openings, seeds of grace. These are seeds which, if enlivened at the proper time, will bring grace, the fragrant golden petals of creation, to the life. Very good. Many blessings. So right now you're trying to figure out what were the two options that he gave in there. <clears throat> One is the age seed. So if you are 55 years old, that means seed number 55. If you are 35, it means seed number 35. That one is very simple to figure out. So if you turn 36 years old, then your age seed for that year is seed number 36. Now keep in mind that Lanto said that if you have not already found your permanent mission seed, so that means that those of you who have gone to either the Great Central Translator or uh, to either of the gates to throw the moon wings and find your, pers uh, your personal permanent mission seed, uh, then you would use that permanent mission seed, or you could use these if you wanted to. But for those who want a mission seed within their medallion and have not found, have not traveled to find their permanent mission seed, then they would use either their age seed or the second option is the annual birth seed. It is determined by the current location and the original time of birth. Let's say that the current location is New York, New York City. And let's say that your birthday is March 1st at 6 a.m. So then you would find out what is the daily seed on March 1st at 6 a.m. in the location of New York City. That would become your annual birth seed for that year. Then the next year, you would again find March 1st at 6 a.m., of that year in whatever location you happen to be in. If you moved to Los Angeles, then you would have select the location as Los Angeles. And again, it would give you a daily seed for that particular moment on that particular day in that particular location. And that would be your annual birth seed for that year. So these are two other options 
for people if they want to be able to have personalized medallions. This is information that is brand new to us just within the last day. Uh, so we will figure out all of the details if this is something that you want to have set up in a medallion for yourself. But otherwise, as I mentioned at the beginning of the lecture, the inception seed within the medallion offers tremendous benefits for each individual, and that one is very easy to figure out. Your IM seeds within the medallion also provide great balancing and benefits for all of the inception, appellation, and mission elements of your life. These can be personalized within the medallion at this time. Give us a call if you have any questions or if you would like to order one of those personalized medallions. Again, in order to have it come to us in the March batch of songs and medallions, we will need to have your order within the next week. So the, the discount time is uh, during the next week. It's $260 for any of the medallions that you would order, whether it's silver or gold, uh, and any of the Inception or IM seeds within it. Everyone, thanks for joining me on today, this day of grace, for our first lesson. Have a great week.